Chet, I'm worried about him, all right? I need things with Dad. This is it. This is it. Big dog about to take down some bitches. I mean, I'm, no offense, man. I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about you. That's, that's a fucked up metaphor, man. Come on in here, man. The point is, man, your boy LD is about to become King LD. Yeah. Old school OG, new wave, big dog, sneaky motherfucking king of the castle OG. That's who you looking at. And you, you one of the nights of my round table. A serious night. And this here, this is some mythical motherfucking shit, man. Only in this version, the dragon drive a low rider. We about to peel his bitch ass for it. And you know what? He ain't even no dragon. He's a bitch. And we gonna spin his beak so fast, he won't even know what hit him. You feel me? Damn, I should write these metaphors down. You boy a straight poet. Hey, you know my boy Benny? 
That's my boy Benny, man. He does the best work. Benny, what's happening, pimp? That boy go hard. Hey, look, man, if you like that old school shit, that real shit, and not that new school plastic bullshit, you know I'm talking about that Los Santos classic shit, man. The most beautiful work you've ever seen, then that's why he like me. Because I'm just like that. Classical, beautiful, and imperial as a motherfucker. <laughs> man, I'm kind of lyrical, dude. Like Caesar, a writer and a fighter. Talking all this old school shit, look, the whole move relies on the fact that the ballers and the Vagos got a whole lot of OGs that care way too much about flossing their lowriders than they do about paying homage and secret respect to yours truly, you feel me? So we gonna show them bitch-ass niggas the error of their ways. We gonna slowly and methodically re-educate them punk motherfuckers. I mean, who don't love a lowrider? We all love lowriders, but uh, personally, I love me more. So with that being said, we gonna confuse the fuck out they ass. And assuming that you confused right now might mean we on the right track. You confused? Whatever, come on, just get moving. Look, lead a serious thinking to me, man. I know you can't think that fast. Years of smoking Sherman turned my brain to a Pentagon computer. Check this out, you're gonna need some of your friends. You know I love you, but you're gonna need some of your friends. Three should do. So go and hook that shit up. I'm gonna be right back. And don't you go changing on me. Don't you do that shit. <laughs> Damn, what's cracking, y'all? Man, I'm so glad you guys can make it. You know I love y'all, right? Hey, check this out, though. Is you down? I mean, speak now if ever hold your peace, man, because you be acting like a buster sometimes. Real shit. It's time, man. It's time to right some wrongs and to change history. Two of y'all, y'all gonna go out on your Vago shit and you gonna go spray some of them ballers. And the two of y'all, y'all gonna go out on your baller shit and chip some Vagos today. It's cracking. And you know we about to kick off some pretty major beef in the city right now. You know how I love beef, nigga. I'm telling you, I'm a beef terrier, nigga. I love that shit. And you know what? After all this shit is said and done, after all the mayhem, it's gonna be one nigga stepping out of all the ashes on the tin knob. And that's gonna be the tall, handsome motherfucker by the name of me on moving gang, watch what I say. Hey, come here, man, let me show you these hot ass whips I got for y'all. We got y'all smoking fools in luxury. They ain't have nothing like that for us when we was coming up. Now check it out. You two, y'all gonna get on your baller's tip and go find some Vagos and smoke they ass in this Chino right here. Yeah, boy, look at that fly ass motherfucker. That's all engine, you can smoke some fools and get on. You feel me? Handle your business. And you two, I want you on your Vagos tip, right? and go straight down there to Covenant Ave in this buccaneer right here. This motherfucker right here got plenty of get up. Smoke them fools and get gone, you feel me? <laughs> I'm loving this shit, I'm loving this shit, man. Lamar's revolution, leadership with a friendly face. I kind of feel like a gang banging ass cult leader, like Jim Jones minus the fruit punch. Kill them fools, my son. Handle that shit. Love y'all niggas. Fools gonna go out and pull some murders in cars like that. Ha! <laughs> fools that know they working for the next big man. <laughs> Frank and G gonna be live and like a motherfucker when they find out this high intense gangsta shit we done kicked off. We out here gang banging like it's 91. Niggas getting laid down left and right. Streets covered with blood. And in the end, the only one that survive is the line sneaky motherfucker. And guess what? I plan on being that line sneaky motherfucker. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's leadership. I'm like a gangbang guru teaching you niggas the essentials to lay niggas down. You feel me? Hey, now go get you some rest, man. As a matter of fact, when you finish laying down, why don't you get you a nice little outfit for my coronation? Because we going places, people. Hey, go in there and check out that boy Benny. The boy's a magician. So, first up, I should probably say, Benny can't do this on any old car. I only work on select makes and models, but the work speaks for itself. I'm always looking to expand, but this is where we're at for now. First steps, getting it ready. We give you the basic build and everything else can go on top. Can't do any of the other work without that rebuild. After that, it's whatever you like. Interior, exterior, pop in the hood, work in the engine, hydros, of course, opening the trunk, fitting it out. You'll have a low rider in no time. Sound good? Get it right from the list and come on back. We'll fix them too, but it's expensive. You don't want to get in no fender bender. Hey, what's happening, loco? Hey, you know that dude Vernon from the OGs? You know what I'm talking about, the dude always fat mouthing about the old days. Come on, man, I'm ugly ass Vernon. Anyway, dude got wind that I was talking about my imminent promotion, right? And somehow thought that me being absolute ruler everywhere is going to insult him. That's some bullshit. Look, man, we got to send this dude a peace offering or something, man. And nothing says, I love you, brother Vernon, and I thank you for your years of wisdom and guidance, but there's a new dog in town, like, taking care of a man's legal problems. Come on, man, look here, the point is this. Look, th this ain't even like no fucking job. It's like you doing your boy a favor, man. Come on, man, all you got to do is deliver the cars, and that's it. Relax, man, it's going to be cool. Man, fuck, why y'all stressing me out? Come on, man, seriously, though. LD don't do stress, he do regalness like a real king. Now, the cars is over there, dog. All you got to do is get them and take them to this buyer he got that's going to get them overseas before the motherfucking cop sees them for some totally unrelated crime that he allegedly did. And the key word is allegedly. Come on, man, it's nothing. It's easy, man. Shit. <laughs> Homies, we're gonna get so much beaver in SK. I'll take you in a snapmatic shot in Seoul. We have the whips there in like two weeks. Hey man, shit! The ballers found out about the sale. They going to boost the rides. Hey, something's wrong. Yeah. Who is that? I said, guys, not a big deal, right? Vernon's gonna be so pleased with this. You guys did a great job. Man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Man, y'all fucked up. Man, Vernon gonna be pissed. Fuck. Look, man, look, okay, I'm sure. You try, and you fail miserably as fuck. But like a wise boss that I am, I forgive your bitch ass. Get the fuck out of here, man. Thank you for trying, man. I'll holler at you later, man. I'm about to go get some trees in. Oh, dog, shit. Why you slow dragging? Bring your ass on. Hey, look here. According to this online course I've been taking, nothing says leadership material better than taking opportunities, right? So what better opportunities we got to put the Vagos out of business than to go shoot up the funeral of the boy little Al that y'all killed in the drive-by? <laughs> yeah, I know it's distasteful and 
very, very, very early 90s-ish, but fuck it. That's what these folks understand, and that's what I'm about. This is San Andreas, home of vine wood. Man, we don't do modern here, my nigga. We like shit the way it was. Old-fashioned gangster shit. And with that being said, we gonna push up to the funeral, and we gonna spray all his homies while they in mourning. <laughs> I swear to God I'm a gangster shit guru. You love that shit, don't you? You love that shit. This is history, and you part of it. So y'all get dressed, and I'm gonna hit you in a minute. Good luck, my nigga. But y'all don't need that, though, because y'all down with LD. Ha <laughs> ha! Move it! Get a job, buster. We're here to pay our respect to the homies. They were soldiers, both of them. Vagos for life and death. They lived like men. And they died like men. Hey, you know how they say every cloud's got a silver lining? That's bullshit. Some clouds got no linings. They just depressing. And that's what this is. It's depressing. I grew up with these two. They were great men. Killers. Fighters. Warriors. Proud members of their community. Then again, some dead homies did leave some trash bags full of cocaine in the attic. So let's all stop looking so upset, eh? To the homies! To the, the homies. homies! And all that coco. Brothers for life. Yeah. 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 got us back on track. Check this out, man. We are breaking eggs. We just breaking eggs. We're about to make this great big huge egg thing. That's it. Lots of eggs. Eggs. Motherfucking eggs. Gangsta shit, nigga. <sighs> Poetry, man. That's what the world needs. A handsome, charismatic, well-spoken leader like myself. That's what I bring to the table. And lots of motherfucking eggs. <laughs> Welcome, brother, brother. Welcome. You see, they said I was a charlatan, a fraud, a nothing. But I am a miracle. Look and behold in wonder. And ask yourself, what does mighty Chris Formage, leader of the Epsilon program, do with his enormous power? Why, he uses it to watch people, of course. Join me any time you like in watching. They never find out, and they can't harm you. It is the greatest pleasure on earth. And trust me, I've lain with a multitude of women.
What's up, y'all, man? Thanks for meeting me out here. Can you believe this bullshit? Can you believe these motherfuckers? Man, look, man, I knew these vagos was dumb as a box of rocks, but seriously, man? We've been terrorizing these motherfuckers, and all they care about is they cars they not yet worshiping at the Great Church of Lamar. Fucking fools, man. But a fool and his lowrider are soon parted. That's said by no one yet, but I just said that shit. Because if you can steal them, we can use them to stop your friend and mine, good old Bernard, from murdering my ass. Which ranks depressingly high on his agenda, I heard. Wow. And I thought loyalty meant something. <laughs> Fucking people, man. Everywhere I go, I've been offending people or getting ignored by them. And that's some bullshit, man. It make no sense at all. None whatsoever. Come on, G, man. You gotta feel me on this, man. Why don't you holler at the boy Vern and tell him I wasn't trying to diss him or nobody else, man? It was unfortunate. That's the word. It was an unfortunate mistake, dawg. Come on, it ain't my fault fools out here knocking each other heads off like it's going out of style. Come on, G, man. You know me, dawg. I'm a hustler. I'm a gangster. I'm hard, man. It's families, man. And when Bernie cut me up with a samurai sword and feed me to his dogs, he gonna see families all inside of me. And that's when he gonna be sad. So come on, man. No harm done, man. Gee, man. Gee, man, what's up, man? You gonna say something, dog? I got enough of the strong, solid, creepy types with these here folks, man. Gee, man, come on, my nigga. This families. Man, come on, man. This shit didn't have nothing to do with me, man. Seriously, man. Man, I told G, man, to tell... I wouldn't even lie to you, man. You like a father to me, man. You the big homie, what I look like behind you, run on top of that. I can't fucking lie to you, man, because I'm fucking scared, man. You might peel my cap. Have me come up missing or something, man. I know how you get down with them fucking car batteries. Come on, V, man. You got to believe me, bruh. I didn't do nothing. This is what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to make it up to you, V. Come on, man. Listen to me. I'm going to do it because we cool. Because I'm cool. Because you cool. And you know, I, I look. Hello? Man, fuck! Fucking asshole, man. I'm dead as a motherfucker. I'm dead. If I'm dead, you dead too. We all fucking dead, man. Fuck! But Vernon, man, this dude completely fucking lost his shit. Lost it. We gotta help this dude get his shit quick. We're gonna make a peace offering. That's it. Yeah, cause, cause, cause selling this shit last time, that, that, that almost worked, man. But this time, 
We're gonna get him more cars. Oh, a serious fucking peace offering, you know what I'm saying? But it gotta be some shit worth stealing. Don't get no bullshit. Don't get no bullshit, okay? Uh, uh, look, I need you to beat the streets. You get out there and see what's popping, and, I, and I'm gonna see what it do, too. And, and all we need is a couple of fly whips, man. It don't take much. Just drop them off on the dude, and, and, and hopefully, shit, he'll kill me quick. Fuck, man, goddamn. Look, man, what are you standing here for, man? Go on, get with the shit, man, and I'm gonna call you in a minute, man. <laughs> this is it, people. This is it. We done, dog. We ain't got to worry about lowriders no more unless you trying to drop some of that hard-earned bread with your boy L. Dito. <laughs> hey, hey y'all got homies coming? Sound like it's a gang of niggas out here. Oh, shit, it's the Vagos. They riding on us. Protect the whips, man. Go on. I left a pot on the stove. about serve them fools man they know better than fucking with lamar davis and i hope this keep that motherfucking burning quiet man you want to know some fucked up shit i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking and you're right it's a cruel and loveless world we live in a world in which genes get bullied by gang politics and overbearing assholes like vernon stop talent dead in his tracks but guess what that's some bullshit it take more than three lunatic gangs and no ideas to stop lamar davis i'm gonna be somebody nigga on the set <laughs>